Okay, it's Wednesday, 4 p.m. And that means it's time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Super exciting news before we get into it. EA did confirm we're getting a future stars this Friday. Uh, it was a really weird way they confirmed it. So they tweeted out this screen, the purple background, which I think looks really, really cool. Then they tweeted out this screen with a new card design and just put the love heart eyes emoji um, with a brand new card design, which is of course the future stars card uh, with no context an hour later, which I thought was really weird. I would have thought they'd have put this, this hour later screen on first and just only tweeted that, but very strange. And then about an hour or two later, they tweeted out this saying future stars coming to foot 20 this Friday. Uh, and they posted the Future Stars uh, sort of logo, you know, the, the 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 lettering as well as the card design next to it, which of course is ex incredibly exciting. Uh, Future Stars, in my opinion, was one of the better promos of last year, uh, and hopefully it's going to be a great promo again this year. So I'm super excited to, uh, to to see what EA have got in store. Now I actually made a couple of concept uh, cards. Now these are of course simple predictions, uh, but I thought I'd share them with you just so you guys can grasp what we're sort of expecting. These were made with the the wrong card design because we didn't have the card design beforehand these were made with a simple concept card design uh but we can sort of have a look now i made these on stream with uh with your guys's help uh you know we're starting off with mason greenwood manchester united youngster uh has been banging a few goals for man united he's been doing pretty well and then we have tamori um who's next i need to close that down and reopen it so it opens up on the right screen here uh tamori uh chelsea center back uh dan james it was a little bit biased we did have a couple of Man united players in there but um you know, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was definitely uh, necessary. We have Martinelli from Arsenal. Uh, we have uh, Jones from Liverpool. We have uh, Hudson and Doy from Chelsea. We have uh, Odegaard from uh, Sociedad. Uh, we have Valverde from Real Madrid. Tenali, who's also already had a special card, but we can see him getting another one. Uh, Soyuncu. Now the cutoff date is actually 23 years old, um, and Soyuncu, I believe, is 23, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm just going to double check that. I'm going to fact check that for you guys. He is 23, uh, so he can make the cut. And then the last one being Garcia, just uh, what the stream recommended. So I thought uh, I'd show you guys those predictions before we get into I Rate Your Teams. However, let's jump straight into it and uh, and get started. I do apologize if you didn't like the, the whole me talking about future stars, but I thought I'd get you guys in the mood for it. And also, I just want to quickly say, my hair is not inspired by Castro. All right, I saw the comments. It was not inspired by Castro. I've always liked the hairstyle. I liked it when Gareth Bale had it or when he first started having it. And 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 I've seen multiple different footballers have it. And that's why I liked it, right? It wasn't inspired by Castro. You guys are... <laughs> it was like most of the comments in the last video. Anyway, uh, we're going for Matteo's team. Uh, he's got 650,000 coins. Sterling, Griezmann, Blanc and Valbuena are untradeable. He's, he plays a 4-4-2 four, four, brackets 2 in-game with Kante and Blanc CDM. Sterling and Dembele 1. Wide. Who should I play striker with Son? Should I get Blanc or Hierro uh, or Blanc and Van der Sar from Icon Swaps? Now, uh, that's annoying. I don't know why it's, it's showing it so small. We're going to go for it anyway because I, I would feel really bad skipping it after reading it all out because it did look HD when I first clicked on it. Uh, who would I play up there with, with, with Son? I would try and get the better version of um, Aguero that you can get. Now, you're asking me if you should get Blanc or, uh, or Hierro or Blanc and who else? You wanted Blanc and Hierro or Blanc and Van der Sar. I'd personally go Blanc and Hierro. Uh, you can sell... Uh, Sergio, is Sergio Ramos untradeable? Let me double check. Um, okay, so Sergio Ramos is not untradeable. So he is tradable. You can sell Sergio Ramos. Uh, I would say get yourself uh, Blanc and Hierro because Ramos sells for more than uh, to Stegen. So you can sell on Ramos uh, and make some good coins from Ramos and then use him to buy, or use your coins from him, sorry, to buy whoever. Now with 650k, you can afford Scream, Aguero or Record Breaker. Both are pretty similar in stats. I think Scream has about four more pace and then the rest of the stats are very similar. Uh, so I would go with Aguero. Gets a strong link with Sterling. Uh, also gets the orange links to the rest of the Prem players. Now you could also go with maybe the likes of uh, an English striker, maybe like a Rashford, for example. Uh, However, I think Aguero is probably your better option there up top with Sterling. Now, next one is from Lurks, who says, whole team is untradeable. Looking for suggestions for long run. Coins don't matter. Future stars looking at uh, Kubo. Kubo. I actually don't know who Kubo is. Now, I probably know who the player is. I'm just, I'm being stupid right now. And, and Kubo is kind of, who is Kubo? Hang on. I need to figure this out. Who is Kubo? This is really annoying me. Uh... 
Oh, is he, is he the Real Madrid? Is he, Okay, he's he's the Real Madrid youngster. Got you. I actually didn't know who that was at first. Um, so he's look he's looking at he's looking at the Real Madrid youngster Kubo. I didn't even know he was in the game to be honest. Uh, who would I go for though? I would say if coins don't matter, I would definitely upgrade the strike force for sure. Uh, it definitely makes sense to do that. Now I see how you're starting. It looks good how you're starting. Um, with future stars coming, there's obviously a lot of different room for improvements here. Uh, you know, you could look to maybe get a version of Valverde if you're looking to like, maybe upgrade a centre mid. Striker-wise, there's a lot of good options. I would wait until future stars come out before you upgrade a striker. Like you say, if I don't even know if Kubo's in the game, but if he's in the game, the, the Real Madrid youngster, uh, definitely upgrading to him might be a good option. We could get a future stars. Yao Felix would be a great option as well. Um, you know, we could get, for example, uh, special SBC players, player moments. We could get flashback SBCs during uh, future stars. So I would hold on and wait for decent uh, La Liga strikers. We're surely going to get some of them because we seem very scarce in that position right now. There doesn't seem like a lot of options for that position. Uh, so I can see us getting them or, or even just Spanish strikers because um, a Spanish striker gets full chemistry in this setup as well. Uh, so I just hold on and wait. Now, if we don't get any, um, Iago Aspas's screen card is a good option. Uh, Gamero also has a good option in screen card as well. Um, there's a few other options in there. You guys can 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 sort them out. You know, Gries a lot of people like Griezmann. Personally, not my, my cup of tea. I'm not a big fan of Griezmann, but... Each to their own. Uh, but yeah, I'd definitely wait till future stars for sure. The rest of the team, though, is really nice. Uh, you've got a really solid back line. Marcelo's normal card isn't amazing, but realistically, there's not a whole lot of upgrades you can make here that are going to get you full chemistry and be good. Obviously, getting the flashback Marcelo would have been good in hindsight, but you didn't know that you we were going to get the season objective uh, Anderson, I'm guessing. So it's unfair to, to pin that. Um, the rest of it, though, is a really nice team. I like the setup for sure. Next one's coming from Scuba Steve. Let's go, Stu Scuba Steve. <laughs> I don't know why I like that name so much. Um, Rashford, Deli Ali, Felipe Anderson, Shah, and Carlos from Tradable. I play a 4-3-2-1 in, in game. Um, I have 150,000 coins. Who should I improve on? Uh, and who should I work towards in swaps? Thank you. Love the vids. Keep the good work. Thank you very much, bro. Appreciate that. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, interesting setup to start off, for sure. I, I, I like the, the, the setup. Plays off chemistry is a big, big thing here. You've got a lot of plays off chemistry. Um, now, I'm not a big fan of... I say you've got a lot of plays. You've got, what, two plays off chemistry? But to me, that seems like a lot. I'm not a big fan. You guys know I'm not a big fan of playing plays off chemistry. A lot of people are asking why. Because chemistyles are so important this year. If you can get, for example, you've got a shadow on Shah... That could improve his pace by 15 and his defending by 15. But playing off chemistry, it's going to be like plus 9. And in my opinion, that isn't good. Like you want the more pace because you ever noticed how a Joe Gomez with a shadow card can catch up to Mbappe? That's what you want. That's why you want to have shadow cards and stuff like that. So that your center backs have big boosts. If you're playing them off chemistry, they're not going to get the huge boost and it's going to feel a little bit worse in game. So personally, I would look to maybe get this on full chemistry. Now, how would you do that? It's going to be difficult. Uh, I think that you might have to play somebody that you don't want to play and then sub somebody on. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I mean, thinking about it, you could try a different formation. Um, you could possibly go to the 4-5-1 normal, play Deli Alli left cam, uh, Casemiro uh, is a centre mid. Uh, that wouldn't work, would it? Unless you play Deli Alli right cam, that also wouldn't work. This is difficult. How do you get this on full chemistry? If you guys have any idea how to get this team on full chemistry, please let me know down below because I'm a little bit I'm a little bit stuck right now. I mean, maybe a 4-3-3-4. The only person you are gonna need to get a, you are gonna need to get a Newcastle player. Um uh, maybe you, you start one and then sub him off. I'm not entirely sure. Uh but I think there is a there should be a way for you to get a full chemistry on this team. Let me know down below, guys, if you if you can think of an idea off the top of your head. In terms of actual upgrades for the squad, I'm not a big fan of Casemiro. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I don't think that he's fast enough for this game, even with a Catalyst card on. Don't think he's fast enough. Uh, who could you get in that position other than Casemiro? You could look towards... Hmm. It's a difficult one. Um, that is a difficult one, isn't it? Well, who could you look towards for that position? Uh, you could possibly... Hmm. No, this is. Huh. I'm trying to think of a logical, a logical way for this team to work with the plays you've got. I don't see a logical way for this team to work. 
I'm sat here thinking replacements for Casemiro are people like Vidal, are people like maybe a future stars Valverde if we get one, um, you know, maybe a baby Blanc from Icon Swaps, people like that. However, you've got that Diego Carlos at right centre back who is going to be off chemistry. And now the 84 rated Roberto Carlos, in my opinion, isn't actually that great. Uh, what I think you could do here is save up to get yourself Van Dyke right centre back. But for the meantime, go with Joe Gomez and get a shadow card on him because he's incredible with a shadow card on. Get rid of that Casemiro card. Bring in maybe a Vidal uh, at, at right centre mid. You're getting full chem on literally everyone apart from uh, apart from your boy um, Rashford up top. And I would just wait on that. I, and I would say uh, wait to potentially maybe bring in icons or something. Alternatively, you could go with, with Joe Gomez at, at right centre back. You could go with Baby Blanc from Icon Swaps at right centre mid to play CDM. And then you could swap Dele Alli and Fabinho around and get yourself full chemistry that way as well. Uh, and everyone else gets full chemistry. Uh, that's also a shout. Um, Diego Carlos obviously is a good player, but I think that I would wait until he gets another upgrade before you start sort of ruining players' chemistries to get him into the squad, if you, if you ask me. Uh, that's the sort of way I feel about it. Because I, I feel like you're only playing Casemiro to get Diego Carlos on full chemistry. And... It's not worth it, bro. In my opinion, not worth it. Uh, moving on now, we have got Zach's team. Um, I need to close that down as well because that's bugging me. Uh, we've got Zach's team. Uh, starting the 4-3-3. Uh, I don't know why it's so dark. That's so strange. I don't know why it's so dark. Uh, hello? Can I click off this? What the hell? How do I get off this? There we go. Uh, start the 4-3-3. Switch to a 4-3-1-2 and a 3-5-2 in game. I've got 100,000 coins for upgrades. Okay, let's check this out. I mean, this is actually quite an interesting setup. I like that you've you've included both different ways you, you play. Now, I would swap Marcelo and Modric around for the 3-5-2 setup. It's just logical, in my opinion. Uh, I would also possibly... In fact, what I would possibly do here... I would possibly play Casemiro right centre-back, play Modric left CDM, play uh, Nainggolan right CDM, and then play Malqui and, and uh, Marcelo as your wingers here, or your left mid and right mid. Uh, now, what would I do with 100,000 coins for this team? If we're looking at the, the basic grades you can make, I would say, hmm, I would wait for Future Stars yet again. Like I said, Valverde, if we get Future Stars Valverde, he will make your team so good. He gets great chemistry with everyone. Uh, works really in the squad and could have a fantastic card and I think would change your team and the dynamic of your team massively and make everything work really well together. So I would personally just wait until Future Stars and see what we can do then. Uh, the next one is going to be from uh, Matteo, perhaps, who we've already seen in the episode. Then we've got Optic uh, Morph, who says, 4-2-3-1 in game, Kante, Polinio, CDM, Robert, uh, sorry, Nedved, Roberto, Edwin, Werner, and Davinson are untradeable. The rest are tradable. All subs are untradeable. Currently have 10,000 coins, but I'm planning on buying George Best. How, how, how do you plan on buying George Best with with 10k. What? Currently have 10k, but I'm planning on buying George Best for right wing. Looking for any advice in general. Keep the good work. Well, I appreciate the uh, the support, my friend. Thank you very much for the kind words. Um, I'm a little bit interested at how you plan on getting George Best at right wing. Maybe selling someone, I'm guessing. But I would personally... I mean, yeah, I guess you're going to sell Figo, but... I don't think it's worth it, personally. I don't. I didn't like George Best this year. He just didn't feel like he did last year. I don't know. Maybe I've, I've not tried the Prime, to be fair, or the Prime Moments because it's not out yet. But I haven't tried the Prime Moments, uh, so that could be why, to be fair. Uh, but I wasn't the biggest fan of George Best this year. Now, in terms of general advice, I'm not. I don't think Zola's good enough right now. I think Baby Zola is better than mid, better than Middle Zola by a mile. Uh, I don't think Middle Zola is that good. Middle Zola, I can't even speak. I don't think Middle Zola is that good. Uh, what I would do as well is possibly, how could you get that Davinson on full chemistry? I wonder. Maybe not Larice, because then you get Juan Jesus off chemistry as well. Yeah, there's no way you're getting Davinson off, off on, sorry, on chem. So I just, I'd, I'd keep it as is for now. Um, yeah, I would say maybe instead of getting best, possibly look to save up for Garincha. Baby Garincha is fantastic. He is unreal. The, the guy, you can't get the ball off him. It's just, it's broken. So I would say possibly going for that instead. The rest of the team's really nice though. Got some great icons in there. Nedved's great. Roberto Carlos is great. Paulinho's a very good flashback. Um, you know, Van der Sart's fantastic as well, as we all know. Uh, the next one coming from Ganja. I've got 400k. Only tradables are Hernandez, Alba, Ramos, and Trippier. Any suggestions? Keep the great vids, by the way. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. I like this team. Stoichkov's great. Dino, not so much, but uh, like it's weird with Dino. He's just very slow. I don't know what it is. Um, 
I'm sure if you guys have used Baby Dino, Baby Dino especially in champs, you'll, you'll agree with me. He's just very slow. Uh, but the rest of the team looks really solid, actually. I personally wouldn't look to upgrade a whole lot right now. Maybe Iniesta, like, it's worth upgrading Iniesta. What I would say might be a play here is moving Stoichkov to middle cam, uh, moving Iniesta up to left C left cam, sorry, getting rid of Dino, like, bringing him down to the bench and then bringing in a new CDM. Now, how many coins did he say you had? Sorry. Uh, 400k for CDM. With 400,000 coins. We're looking for a center mid slash CDM icon for 400k. What console are you on? You are on the Xbox. Okay. Um, let's go. Icons all. Positions. Center mid cam CDM. Uh, what are we saying for... I mean, we can only look at PlayStation prices because that's what I've got set as my main console. But the prices shouldn't differ too much. Uh, what are we looking at here? Roy Keane's 88 card's not a bad shout. How much is it on Xbox? 404. This is not a bad shout, actually. Uh, he's a little bit slow, but, uh, you know, a catalyst wouldn't be too bad on him. Um, what else are we looking at? Gattuso is obviously a great option. Um, he's very defensive. Guardiola is very defensive, but also has a pretty decent card. This card with like a an anchor on, I think, would be a really, really good shout. A CDM goes to a 90-rated 90, 90 CDM here. What does it go with a shadow? 89? Yeah, I'd say with an anchor on, he's definitely better. An anchor or an, en anchor or an engine would be a good shout on this card. Um, I think that it turns out to a really, really nice uh, CDM card here. So I would go with either of those two, Keen or Guardiola, because Keen with a Keen with like a not an anchor, where is it? A uh, catalyst. Keen with a catalyst, 89 rated CDM, 84 pace, uh, 92 passing would be really good on the ball. Uh, alternatively, engine would be a good shout as well. Engine makes him a 91 rated CDM, uh, improves his agility and balance, improves his pace, improves his passing. Um, either of those two would be a good option. And then you play Iniesta at Cam, I think would be a really, really nice shout too. Uh, but that team is actually really cool. I like that team a lot. Uh, the next one coming from Biggie Ziggy. I think he was featured in the last episode. Um, he says, first in game, uh, have 100k and waiting on future stars, uh, Reese James, if not play the month, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Everything is untradeable. Damn. Everything. Wow. Okay. Uh, interesting. Interesting formation, actually. I don't see a lot of people playing this. Uh, I, I mean, I would maybe upgrade Tenali to uh, or Tenali, sorry, to uh, future stars if he gets one, if you can afford it, and maybe save up towards it. Not entirely sure about playing your man over here off chemistry, uh, you know, Ferl and Mendy. Would be a decent shout, actually, in this team. If you were to, instead of getting De Gea, get yourself to Stegen and get yourself uh, Varane at left centre-back. I think it's better than PK. Uh, that gets full chemistry on everyone as well and would be a decent addition to the team. Um, for Mr. Gea is great, but make some really silly errors. Let me know that in the comments down below if you guys agree or not. He makes some really stupid errors for me sometimes. Or he did when I, when I had him. I got rid of him, though. Um... Moving on, we are going to go with Jamie's team. Uh, play the first formation in game. I've got 200,000 coins after trades. Uh, uh, Walker. Um, wait, sorry. I've got 200,000 coins after Hazard. Trades are Walker, Alba, Stegen, and Hazard. Okay. Let's have a look. So you're going to buy normal Hazard here. You got Red Kante. That's nice, bro. I like Red Kante. I like that. Um, this seems actually really cool. It's actually a really cool team. What would I do with this team? Uh, I mean, Croy, fantastic. Socrates at CDM. I mean, this is what you start. This is what you start with, isn't it? This is what you play in game. Yeah. Okay. So Kante CDM with with Suzuko. You've been very lucky, in my opinion. If, if you've only done two base icons, and these are the two base icons you've got. You've been very lucky, and that's actually really cool. I like that. So uh, what would I do with this team? I wouldn't actually change anything. I mean, maybe changing Kyle Walker for Cancelo is maybe a shout, but it's only if you like someone that's a little bit more agile with four-star skill moves. That's completely up to personal preference, though. Um, I would then maybe look to upgrade your right wing over here. If we get a really cool card from Future Stars, it might be the play. Um, aside from that, this team is sick, man. This team is really, really nice. I like this team a lot. Uh, obvious upgrades in the near future are going to be play people like Varane, people like maybe a Virgil van Dijk, maybe an Allison in there, people like that. But I don't think you have to do them straight away. They're, they're, they're upgrades that can come over time, you know? I don't think they need to be done straight away. So I like this team a lot. I think this team is really nice, mate. I wouldn't change a whole lot in that team. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, is it me or does that look flattened? No, that's just, that's just a weird photo. Um, we're going for Sir Reginald von Bartlesby. This is the way I play in game. Everyone except SBCs are tradable, and I've got 500k spare. Keep the good work. Thank you very much, bro. Appreciate that. Okay. Interesting. All right. This is a nice team. This team's sick. This team is sick. Okay. Uh, you play what in game? You play a. Uh, didn't say. Uh, wait. This is how you. Uh, this is the way I play in game. Okay. Fair enough. Very interesting, actually. Um. Wow, very nice, very nice team. 500k to improve it. Sadorf, 
got to go. I see why you've got Seedorf, but I would give him the hoof, to be honest. How much does he go for? Because he's tradable, like you said. The only, only untradables are the SBCs. All right, let's have a look. So Seedorf currently sells for 940k, giving you a whopping 1.7 million. Uh, 1.4 million, sorry. Uh, bird camp. Let's have a look at what version of bird camp you can afford here. Um... Uh, you can afford you can afford the prime version of Bird Camp. This card would be very good at camp. Four star, four star, good agility and balance, especially if you you can upgrade it with uh, with a sniper. I'd say if I can find sniper. Uh, where is it? There it is. You know he turns to a, a ninety four rated cam. Um, he gets ninety one agility, eighty seven balance, uh, ninety nine finishing, uh, ninety nine composure. Great in game stats here as well. Um, eighty two stamina, which is good as well. I would say go with Burkamp over uh, Sadorf, and you've got a winner of a team here, mate. That team's sick. You've done some sick SBCs. You know, obviously Joe Gomez is fantastic. He's gonna he's gonna get upgrades along the way. Uh, Ben Yedder is a great card as well. You've got some really nice bench players. I see you've got a Paddy V on the bench as well that you're not even using, but I respect it. This team is very nice, mate. You've got a very nice account here, and I, I respect it. It's a very, very, very nice team, and, uh, and you've got some very nice uh, untradeable players and stuff like that, and I think that's going to call it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching. If we get 1,000 likes on this episode, that would be great. Uh, make sure you get involved with our Use Your Teams as well. That's going to be coming every Saturday. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.